Hi everyone, I'm just going to find Heine. Better? I think we're better. Yeah, can you see me now? Yes, I can hear and I can hear you and see you, so we're all good. Okay. Uh, all right. Fantastic. Um, amazing. I was going to um, wait a minute if anyone actually joins us, and then um, I shall introduce Apple Pip, and uh, then you can talk about what your goals for this residency were, and then we can go from there. Yeah. Does that sound good? That sounds good. Yeah. Okay. I'm all ready for your tricky questions. <laughs> I'm not sure I have tricky questions. I think it's more of a conversation and an unpicking of how this week went. Because it was yeah. not what we expected, I think. So, uh, or at least in terms of the fact that we had expected you to be here in the space. Uh, so on. So yeah um okay so i'm gonna yeah. i'm gonna listen and pretend I'm like a telly presenter um i'm not sure i'd be a very good one um so uh i'm araby beverage and um the setup you can see behind me is just a corner of our barns at apple pip arts which is um a not-for-profit that i have set up this year uh it's part of what i'm doing at university so um, hopefully an ongoing project um, once I've left university and so on. Um, I'm, uh, it's a residency programme, essentially, at its core. And um, Heine was uh, going to be our first ever artist in France, um, Heine being Heine King. And um, this is a very sort of physical space. It's, uh, it's all about texture and space and, uh, and on the fact that we're beside and um, being present here is really important I you know it's, and still is important but because of this lockdown I had um, I had kind of toyed with the idea of going digital and then almost just and Heine came to me and said why didn't we try and do this on Instagram and in fact it's turned out to be a really interesting week. Um, so my goal is to build some community here where people can take refuge from their normal setting and come and make um, and you know move move into new areas perhaps that they hadn't considered. Um, so Heine, I presented you with a bunch of images and so on, but you came with a set of goals and um, you might like to tell us what they were. Over to you. Yeah. Um, yeah, I was really looking forward to the residency. I did one in the summer and it really uh, pushed my practice forward. Not, not with Apple Pip Arts, but um, another artist-led residency, uh, which was a very good experience. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, my goals for this one, I guess, was just to do it at any cost <laughs> um, to inspire um, my practice and just to get like a kind of window to another uh, reality outside of home. Um, in a kind of invitation video that I posted on Instagram then uh, it's it looks like it's a black square on my Instagram account um, and it's a video where I set two goals for myself for this residency and shed some light um, to my followers what's going to follow um, during this seven days then that followed um, so my first goal was to experience um, your place in North Dorset um, despite of never having been there and where, I, where I'm kind of coming from um, with that idea is a kind of phenomenological um, 
idea of um, the experience in body um, kind of the, the knowledge or the um, of the the experiences of the senses um, kind of creating a sense of place or sense of experience um, so that was my first goal. I wanted to experience your place even though I couldn't travel and I was hoping to do that through the images um, that you would send me every morning from Apple Pip Arts and through making artwork inspired by those images. Um, so basically I wanted to imagine your place and experience it through imagining it, through making artwork. Um, my second goal was to do with this, um, this digital platform. So I was interested if, if a kind of phenomenological space or connection, as I call it in my video, um, can be created uh, between two accounts on a platform that is kind of based on links, a network, but uh, different on a different level. So as far as I understand, Instagram um, is, um, is, is a selling platform. So um, this advertising um, is a big part of the package. Um, but I was wondering if we can add value by going beyond that and creating, oh yeah, whether a kind of art exhibition like um, space that can be created across um, our accounts through our um, correspondence and the images. Yeah. yeah. It's an interesting challenge, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, there's a lot to, it's quite, it's so fragmented that I was interested if, if there's, if there can be like a kind of cohesive um, space. Yes. Yes, it's interesting, isn't it? Um. Um, and actually, like, a third really important goal that um, came once, once we'd started, um, very soon was this correspondence um, that we did through images and 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 I was just thinking like this is actually like an like an artist's um, kind of book that are published um, after they've died and I just thought like hmm well but we don't really need to die we don't have time to wait until we die we can do it now you know live we can publish our correspondence we've discussed art and um, film and experience of being an artist, spaces, yeah. all sorts of things during this week. Yes, because we um, ended up discussing all sorts of things as if you were here in a kind of really abstract sense. I would get up in the morning and think, oh, I must go and say hello to Heine. And then I would walk around and contemplate what I was gonna send you and then it would come with a sort of conversation stuck on the side of it. And I would send it out there thinking, you know, I'd sort of send you a quick note saying, it's here, I'm, I've got stuff to send you, <laughs> have a look for it. And our conversation wasn't wordy. We, we, didn't, uh, we didn't send endless messages backwards and forwards. But it was interesting to see how it kind of, um, the connections are slightly, yeah, they're slightly, uh, distance and abstract and the way it's come out is really yeah and enjoyable as a sort of process to go through and certainly from my perspective of being here um, it made me rethink how I am in the space here and what matters to me it was really I was gonna um, show the images now that um, I sent you people can be more familiar I, what I say. There's one long video which I won't show the whole of, I'll just move on a clip. Mm. 
Okay, bear with me a second. I'll just see if I can find them. Oh my goodness me, I realise I've got in between. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. This was one of the ones from the last day, which was I entitled, um, what was it? We had, um, there was a bonfire one as well, which is not to hand, but this, that was um, renewal and stasis and burning. So the idea, and then I gave you amazing pink skull and a concertina um uh what's the word i'm looking for it was this concertina sort of candlestick which hangs around in the barn and is a sort of remnant of um sort of not quite former life but you know it has has um all that sort of dusty dusty yieldy quality about it somehow um, then I sent to you these amazing of an evening walk I took with a friend. Um, in fact, what I'd also meant to send you was this incredibly beautiful rainbow, which was on the same walk, but in the mix. Um, I gave you spaces, I gave you images of the spaces here, didn't I? So you have the barn and the um, stables and the stage and so on and the hayloft there we go so all in all i was trying to give you a flavor of the spaces generally um to let you get a sense of what it's like um and my challenge was to was to try and put it across in this sort of material visceral way the way i feel as i go through these places and then working on them and building them and working in them myself um, and to try and include you in that to cut to make you make it accessible to you so you could enjoy this um, I don't know whether I succeeded in that <laughs> do you did it did you feel some of that through those images do you think yes I honestly <laughs> even though I was with my family. Um, and yeah, it actually happened a couple of times that one of the children said something to, or my partner said something to me and I was like, oh, I didn't actually hear because you know, I was thinking about your task or the image you sent me or weaving these you know, stories in my head. Um, and I was like, then like, oh, sorry, I was just in my residency. So it, oh, it, did, it. <laughs> it, it was strong. It was, um, it was strong, actually. Uh, it created this alternative reality for me that I could retire to, a kind of real escapism uh, from, you know, from the routines of the day, which is, that's fine. But I did not actually know I was capable of that kind of intense experience without actually not going anywhere new or not having anything you know, really extraordinary happen. Yeah. I think I can say the same for insofar as, although you weren't here, I, 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 yeah, I really, I realize we're talking across one another a bit because your connection is a bit broken up. Um, I, I really sensed your presence here, even though um, you weren't actually here. And that was, that was really invigorating for me. I really enjoyed it. I wondered if you might talk about some of the um, work that you made um, or investigated in your residency moments. Yeah, sure. Um, I feel like the connection is a bit bad. So maybe for... Um just for the information of the audience, thank you very much for joining us. So all the artwork and all the images and texts are actually on my Instagram account um, and on Apple Pip Arts Instagram account. Um, 
so afterwards or now um, then if you're interested or if you can't remember what the particular image was that we're talking about um, so that would be good I could feel like I you know I was creating an imaginary version of your place uh, through doing the work and through getting messages from you in image and and moving image and uh, and correspondence was that it kind of latched onto my um, own experience, I guess, of childhood, of the time I, you know, crawled through the cat flap uh, into a barn and and found a skull of an animal. Um, the smells of, um, you know, molding hay and uh, rotting wood and mud and that I've got lots of experience of that, although it's quite distant from a kind of real country setting. Yeah. Um, so not consciously, but I'm sure on some level I was kind of latching onto those uh, experience or sensual memories, bodily experiences, um, and just trying my best to, um, you know, imagine your reality um, and to emphasize with that. Um, um, so, yeah, some work. Um, well, in the spirit of Instagram, I was going to say, your first piece that you um, sent me was uh, child drawings taken partially from the images that I had sent to you. And it seemed to me that some from imagine, your imagination and from um, you know, our, our sources that obviously have become connected through this exchange. And that was backed by a really interesting soundscape from your home life where you were and I found I, I really enjoyed the sort of the idea of this work taking place in so many sort of slices and layers of backwards and forwards and then with with the sound accompanying it it fleshed it out into something that um, had real resonance it was lovely yeah um I enjoy working on levels and this this setting, which is so complex, um, really encouraged that feature of my uh, practice. Mm. Um, so yeah, basically kind of how I see the structure of my works over the seven days is that first I um, advertised. So if you can see the black square on my Instagram account, uh, there's one uh, charcoal drawing before that black square where I've drawn myself mm -hmm. in your barn and I claim something like this is where I'm going to spend the next week uh, in a residency. Um, I removed the life-size pigs just in case. Um, <laughs> and I mean, that they gave me feel. chill. I actually wanted to, you know, once I started drawing it, I, I was just like, oh, I don't actually want any extra, you know, life-size pigs that I'm not familiar with. I, I'll i rather do the alone bit uh, in that cold and, um, <laughs> and dark barn where I'm on my own. You know, I, it's, I had this actual like ghostly feeling. <laughs> um, some of the images, um, certainly that I sent you, do have that dark feeling. Yeah, in the comfort of my home or studio where I'm now, um, I actually wanted to invite some of that fear. Um, yeah. I guess the space we created through that correspondence, it was safe enough to invite that kind of primal fear and then Mm -hmm. I kind of put it back into the work. And I just wanted to imagine that I'm quite sensitive to like, you know, dark and scary things. <laughs> so 
I just thought like, well, I'll actually be a quite square, square. I will be sca scared in your residency. I would be uh, in real life. So I wanted to experience it when I was doing my drawings as well. Um, Big can feel scary. It's true. And they, they're, it comes back with all those sort of um, films which bring them into this space. They can have a lot of fear surrounding them, so it can feel quite unnerving. Yeah, and in a way, it also you know it it really <laughs> resonates with the fear one has with with the current situation as well, and yeah. you know, fear of of illness and death and yeah, uh, political turbulences mm. in different parts of the world. Um, the sort of so Mortality. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, and then latching on to those childhood fears of, as well of, you know, um, yeah. daring to go into, into a place where you haven't been before through a cat's flap or something. Well, I was interested in your story of you finding yourself in a barn space, having come through this sort of cat flap and then having a skull face to face because unbeknownst to me those images cropped up in the stuff I sent you so I think I like the way that life offers us so often these these reflections back on our own histories um I find that really in, exciting actually yeah yeah uh, cyclical uh, after that after that um charcoal drawing of the barn I then made this advertisement video so uh, one of the ways I added value to this residency was that I borrowed my teenage daughter's phone and not having had a phone like that myself I just thought like right I'll use it for a week and I learn a few apps and kind of um, you know get get a bit of um, be a bit like take more techie uh, as a result in a fun way um, so I made this video and in that I promised that I'll make artwork I invited people to my instantaneous um, um, exhibition like I called it and that was a dive into an unknown that was scary uh, because I had no work obviously and I had no idea whether I'll be able to uh, work whether the family will be ill or you know what will come up during the week um whether my whether i have the stamina to keep going or you know whatever like yeah. whether it seems like a good idea the following day um yeah. so that was interesting yeah. i have not invited people to an exhibition before that doesn't exist it was an interesting thing to place the rules around the engagement where we both had to do these things every day. I found, uh, yeah, I was, I was, I also, did you, did you also do some um, performance stuff as well? Um, yes, on, on day three, mm. I um, dressed up as a samurai. Um, I had been reading um, Yusagi. Um, it's a kind of samurai graphic novel that I'm a very mm. thick one that I'm in the middle of reading to my son. Um, so I just wanted to embrace, like, if that's my ref reference, if that's what I'm feeding my imagination with, so I better use that then. So I dressed up as a samurai and, and took some photographs and some drawings. And then I connected that communal dinner um, that you have um, built into the program of the residency, which uh, is a lovely idea. I kind of made an uncanny version of that in a kind of manga, manga style or samurai style. That's not my genre um, traditionally, but residencies are great for trying out new things so i thought well i'll just go for it and see what comes yeah 
so yeah that was performance but i mean i see this whole thing as a performance this yeah. is um this is so public <laughs> <laughs> it's an interesting thing to put these processes which is in, which are normally so intimate and private in so far as you would come on residency and you would be here but this would never be for public consumption so it would never be something where we sat and talked about um the the thought processes and intimacies and and just small daily things which come up and start sparking up interest or or alternatively present blocks to what we're trying to achieve I and mean, the film night that we had was interesting so you suggested the film the cuckoo and um I went and found it and it, it turns out that for, for me, because I don't speak Finnish or Russian or, is it Sami? Um, yeah, Sami, it's the Lapis. Lapis yes. is so, a big up north. Interesting watch for me because I the whole thing is only visual and I managed to pick up the names of the people. So the, 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 final, the final moment of the story was clear to me, but I didn't get any of the comedy particularly although i could see that it was light-hearted so this the the unraveling of these things where of course if we'd been sat together in the space we would have watched it together and you would have been able to kind of translate things backwards and forwards and explain to me what was going on so for just even that again this whole experience has this whole abstract quality to it where you're moving through the space and you're doing these things which make some sort of sense but on the other hand they have this whole sort of layer it's like it's like when you look into a swimming pool and everything's slightly distorted so you know what it is you know vaguely where it is but it's just not in quite the right place <laughs> yeah. That. yeah i find that a bit like when i when i use the instagram because you know my old phone yeah it doesn't it can't play the app so as a result i don't get any advertisements on it but mm -hmm. when when i use this you know not new phone of my daughter's then I get all the slimming advertisements and all the kind of facelift ad advertisements. And, you know, I'm not, I'm not interested in slimming or facelifting, like, but I must have pressed some button at some point for my age or something. So it's just so <laughs> surreal that I'm making this art and every other thing is like about slimming or something. It's quite weird and distracting, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, and this is, you're right, that's exactly the other element of this whole thing is that the, the images we get are so, are so sullied by all the other sort of interference you get. In, so even looking for the images when they come up, is you have to consume all these other things first in order to hone in on what it is you're actually looking for. So it's sort of searching through the, almost like a bargain bin to find the nugget of gold at the bottom. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of, I'd be really... I've got really into this project, your place and my artwork and the connection. And it would be really lovely to hear from the audience, actually, like if I know there are some people who have been giving us a lot, a lot of love hearts across the week. Like if there are actually people who have experienced um, the mm. connection. It would be interesting to see what people think. I'm not sure if the, um, I'm not sure if um, I think they, people can write into the into the um, question box and see if they have anything they wish to say. Um, can we can address that if anything comes up? That would be cool. So feel free to add anything if you wish to. That would be very good. Yeah. Um, then another thing I kind of found interesting in terms of my practice and you know, just using this as a mirror of my own artistic making was this kind of distilling of these problems like day, let me see, one, two, day three, where I posted um, the flower, a, a drawing of a flower and a, of an iceberg. Um, and then also the following one where I posted um, a selfie of myself as a painter Yes. Um, and they kind of distill, or they they are kind of symbols of, you know, problems that I have in my practice. And okay. Would you like to expand? Yeah. 
which one shall I expand? Um, mm. I'll expand over on the iceberg. Yeah. Um, so basically, I mean, I don't know about you, but I go through phases where I'm just like, um, it feels so meaningless. You know, I'm, I love, uh, I'd love to, you know, live in a world where environment is not polluted, mm. where we may make like more sensible um, decisions in terms of consumerism and production. Um, and I, yeah, what am I saying? Um, just, it was an intense day of working. I was just like, because you had this kind of slightly depressed morning posting, yeah. like uh, about the decay and, you know, what, what is the meaning of us, you know, little humans, we should know our place in this universe. Mm. Um, we are nothing. Um, in the history, you know, in the in the real scale, and and that's a really valid point of view. And I was just like, you know, I was just thinking like, yes, it is my problem too. You know, I often go through that cycle, and I kind of think like, what, well, what is the point of making art, and um, and how do I know? what I make will actually have a positive impact or is there even such a thing as a positive impact when everything is so complicated. So, yeah, so those little drawings, they kind of distilled some of, they some can, of that. I, um, they, I really love them and particularly where also you photograph them. So they, they're sitting on a surface and slightly sort of the paper's slightly curled up, so they have a kind of life of their own as well, in this um, very fragile, ephemeral sort of way. Um, yes, that was a strange yeah. morning. It's just been raining and raining, and it was this sort of, um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was yeah, and I, there's kind of nothing I love more but a humble drawing, so that's why I'm like really happy about that day. Uh, yeah. A drawing can say so much or, you know, contain so much that you can't say, yeah, I'm kind of babbling away, but there they are saying everything more clearly. Yes, that is, um, I'm just going to go to my thing. Um, I was trying to remember also, yes, I, I sent you a pile of those um, the images of the, just the materials um of the um pile of steel and brick and stone and wood um i can't remember which day that was actually it must have been day maybe god maybe that was day one day two three that was the pile of steel and wood no, same thing because first i wanted yeah. to make some lovely abstract you know uh textiles work um yeah. and just use your images as as like starting points for mm -hmm. them. But then as it turned out, you know, I had no time. I, I was, um, you know, busy with, um, with running other affairs in the home. And then as the dates just kind of went on and on. Yeah. You and I both experienced the, the juggle of trying to not only manage your own artistic practice but also to fit that in between all the needs um we have as, as sort of mothers looking yes. after kids and making sure they're fed and and at the moment you also have the joy of homeschooling which is yes i, I do yeah um yeah. yeah it's a serious thing to have to contemplate isn't it Yeah, I, it kind of got quite scary always when the evening press was drawing nearer and I still hadn't made up my mind or, or like I had gone through various artistic processes at least in my head or using different equipment or materials and I wasn't happy um, and then I just kind of mm. had promised to post something 
But yeah, eventually I was always happy with the result. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For all, this, um, this week has been amazingly productive for me. I, and, but I don't know if you feel that would have, you could apply that word for you. I mean, I have seen you make lots of work, but I don't know how you feel about it in yourself. Yes, I've been productive. Um, and I have a bit of a kind of residency hangover, which is, which is a positive thing. It means that I've been somewhere. Yeah. And now I'm just kind of thinking, like, what, what shall I do next? This was a mm. really interesting research on how you can create this space in Instagram, um, add meaning to that platform that... Um, that's there so i've been thinking that i could do an open call to artists and do the same um mm. with other artists i think it would but, be a really interesting bandit yeah another option would be that we would reverse um roles mm -hmm. i would give you some um you know inspirational images from the cultural city of london or I, from yeah and though in pandemic it would be completely scary <laughs> <laughs> yeah um or i could do you know by invitation um i could think of some artists that i'd love to do a kind of collaboration with a kind of dare you know i dare do this what do you dare do kind of idea and yeah. just push <laughs> our practices that way and entertain the audience. Um, That's an interesting. But point. I mean, the, mm, and then also, you know, just thinking like, you know, what which ones of the works are ones that I want to uh, carry on doing. But yeah. Um, so I've got a lot. It's been productive, and it's definitely left me with a lot of questions for future. I'm, um, I'm pleased that it's left you with this sort of questing, questioning position, having, having been here and experienced what goes on, because that's certainly one of my goals is to do exactly that, to leave people something that they take away to continue to juggle and play with. Yeah. So I'm kind of pleased. Yeah, I must say, I must compliment you, Arabi. They were really good. Your your images were not overdone. You know, if you'd send me amazing artwork, I would have felt like, oh no, what am I, how am I going to respond to that? Like, I can't even, you know, draw or paint or anything. But you sent me good kind of, you toned it down. Mm -hmm. And that's really, I felt that was really important that you took amazing photographs, but you ha they weren't overproduced. And that was kind of um, important for me, at least somebody else might experience it differently, but mm. kind of less is more um, in the sense, and that's, I think, part of the reason why I could go on these journeys yeah. with my work. Thank you for saying that. I, I, yes, I was kind of pitching it with the idea that that it was, it was, a, I was giving you space to, to do your thing rather than giving you something already done. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's really cool. Um, I, I also, huge compliments to you also for the amount of work you have put in. And, um, and also for, you know, for seeing, seeing us through to this idea in the first place, because I was really unsure about how this would work. And, um, insofar as I have um, given you support and given you images and that kind of thing from my end, you have been immensely supportive to me too. So it's been a lovely process of exchanging that and it's, uh, I, I've really enjoyed it very much. So thank yeah. you. Thank you. Yeah, collaboration. Yeah. We've kind of reached our 45 minutes almost with another couple of minutes and then we're there. 
Um, and I'm wondering if there's um, anything particular we need to, we'd like to add or to think about or... Um, I mean, we could open up new conversations, but I guess if anybody in the audience would like to ask anything, I'd love to hear or comment or... Um, I'm not sure we have um, enough people around to ask us questions. So I think we're, um, um, we'll have to anticipate what they might have been. Yeah. <laughs> um, and our feel slightly peculiar. Hmm. Um, um, I, uh, yeah, um, my refle reflecting on this week, I suppose it's been, um, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's been a sort of process of looking for me of looking at this space in such a different way through trying to look through your eyes of what you might see when you came and it's been interesting to see how that's meshed with your own memory and your own practice and what's come out of that and i um from my perspective as heading up apple pit here i'm um i'm keen for people and all you know and i think this has shown me that it's possible to do a really productive digital remote residency, which I didn't know was possible with this level of intensity. So I have really enjoyed that. So yeah. I'm push forward with that. And I hope that you will push forward your, with your work. And to, to also add, I, um, you'll remember that part of the terms of the residency is that um, we will have a group show in the end of May, June. Of course, the whole thing's open to sort of speculative shifting around on dates potentially. Um, but the plan is to have a group show here of work that's made in conjunction with Apple Pip. So um, in time, you will come down, bring work and see it in the space where it was imagined which will be really exciting yeah yeah i'll be up for that and um yeah i can really recommend this version the online version of fantastic worth my while um mm-hmm yeah so we've got the connection again honey i hate to say it okay should we call it there i think okay. we might have to call it there thank you so much for joining me both this evening and on residency it's been really productive and amazing and um we will find a time when you can come down and be here in person thank you okay thank you so much honey Hi, thank you, Arabi.